And is here from UT. Yes, sir. And uh, he's popping a surprise uh, on, on Shamar, which is my daughter. So we, we we found it only right to do something behind the scene for Boss Talk 101 to capture the moment, man. This guy right here, man. So what are you? What, what's going on? Don't give us everything. I want to be surprised too. Yeah. So just to give you a little bit. Um, Shamario is what, one of the 60 students in the state of Texas that's getting this award Man. out of the 66,000 that applied. Wow. One of 60. That's big. You see what I'm saying, man? She's something special. Mm -hmm. She old chip off the old block. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it don't, you know, I know it come from this side because you and I know where the best resides. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Check it, man. Hey, man. Whatever. Don't do that. Don't do that. Y'all already know. It's me. It's all me. Not him. Don't do that. So y'all seen the show. Y'all know how it go. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, you either get with it, you either ride with it or collide with it. You know, don't be fooled by the hype. You know who I am. You know who I, what I do. So, uh, man, thank you so much, man, yeah, for absolutely. coming out, man, today. You know what I'm saying? Blessing my day. Uh, thank you for, uh, yeah, for whatever you're about to do because I really don't have no clue about what you're about to do, <laughs> which is cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The element of surprise is always amazing. Holla at your boy, Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Hello. Hello. What's up, Shamari and Malachi? Hi. This is awkward. <laughs> What's up, hey. man? Hi. Hey. Hey. How are you? What's going Good. on? It's all right. We uh, we don't know what's, <laughs> what's going, going on. on. Yeah, have, like, have a seat. Oh. She's like, what is going on? Oh. Hi guys. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't want to tell you, but um, so what's going on is um, basically uh. This guy right here is Roland. Yes. Roland called me and uh, said he wanted to come and speak with you about a couple of things. So I thought it at liberty to put it on Boss Talk 101. What a boss is talk. So, right. y'all ready to get started? I'm here today with Roland. Say that last name again. Rising. Roland Rising is in the building. R R. R R. <laughs> Mr. R R. Mr. Maker, what's going on? Nothing, nothing. You Check know it, what they're all going. See, we do this, man. But hey, we don't know this this young lady over here, do we? Uh, mm. They say she look like me. Shamari is in the building, y'all. Hi. <laughs> How you doing? So, hey, man, let us know what's going on today. So, um, Shamari. Hello. Just, how are you? I'm good. Okay. That's good. That's awesome. <laughs> um, so, here at UT, we like to recognize. Um, some of our incoming freshmen, right? We got about 60 students this year that we are recognizing out of these 66,000 applicants. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, this year was a little bit more competitive than these past couple of years in, in, a, in a very good while. So you are a part of a class that came in punching and swinging. Um, now, you are one of 60, okay? And I got a little surprise for you. Oh. Okay. Actually, we do from the UT family. We want to welcome you with this backpack. It is an impact scholar. As an impact scholar. Now, an impact scholar is someone who has made a huge impact, not just at their high school, but also in their family, in their community, um, and in everything that they do. Okay. Um, so, this backpack is yours. You can take it around campus. Only impact scholars got these. So, this is one of a kind. Okay, you can wear it with that little blue jacket that you have. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, but on the inside, we got a few little goodies for you. We got you a t-shirt. Nice. It says Impact Scholar. So, I can get you a smaller one if you need me to, okay? Oh, that's so cool. Texas 27 has got your graduation year, and it says Impact Scholar because you are an Impact Scholar. But there's something that I want you to see which is a little bit more interesting for all of us, <laughs> okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to read this first paragraph for me. Dear Shamaria, congratulations. It is my pleasure to inform you that you have been admitted to the University of Texas at Austin and the studio art major in the College of Fine Arts. Your dedication to excellence inside and outside the classroom has prepared you to thrive at UT, and we are thrilled to admit you to the class of 2027. Awesome, awesome. 
So now I want you to grab that. And I want you to open it and then show your dad and your mom and everybody around here. You've been gifted a scholarship that covers $48,000 for the next four years. Wow, ah, 48000 Congratulations. I'll take it. Save me a little money. Hey, man. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that don't covers, crash. That covers all the tuition. So um, don't have to worry about paying for classes or any of the tuition fees. It also covers just a little bit extra. Aww. And it stacks on top of whatever your FAFSA gives you. So it could also be used a little bit for room and board if you need to. Um, but yes, this you earned it. You, you, you're one of a kind. Okay? Aww. And we truly believe that you're going to make an awesome impact here at UT Austin. So congratulations, Shamari. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Wow. Congratulations. Man, congratulations, Shamaria. Y'all so, gonna make me cry. Hey, so Aww. Shamaria, uh, yeah, let me bring it on back in. That's why this is Boss Talk 101. What, <laughs> is this a school that you basically, uh, let me see that again, put that up, because that's saving me some money. I like that, man. <laughs> Anytime you saving me some money like that, man, I, I'm about to cry because of that. Let me, that, I shed a few tears for the money that's being saved. Boss Talk 101, man, this is great, man. Love, man. Only by God. But exactly. listen, did, did, what is this the school that you picked that you really wanted to go in, to and attend? Yeah, this is one of my top schools on my list. Wow. Probably the, the second. Okay, okay. Well, yeah. you, you, at the end of the day, man, it's just a blessing to be, you say, 60 out of 60,000? Yes, 66,000. 66, 66, 66, 66, so, so how does these, how do the children apply for these uh, scholarships? Or right. how do you guys pick who you're going to So when choose? it comes to applying, um, when we're reviewing the applications, uh, we also review for scholarships simultaneously. Mm -hmm. So um, it's not like we just, you know, have them do a whole separate application. We want to make it easy. Mm -hmm. We already know college, um, applying to colleges for seniors is very stressful. Very stressful. So if we can do it all in one <laughs> hit for the kid, takes care of that, they can move on and focus on other That's things. That's good. So. Wow, man. And, 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 and so you travel around and just bless, you know, these families like you just blessed us. We, we try, we try. You know, through the organization. I think that's dope, man. I mean, education is key, man. Mm -hmm. We've already, you know, we actually try to prepare Shamaria from a very young age. She worked in this store ever since she was, how old, Shamaria? This is our new employee, Amanda, and let's welcome her to Unique Fashions. Folks, as Little Miss Fashionista earlier said, What's going on, Shamaria? What's up with it? Good to see you, man. You back on the scene doing what you do. Get you for your time today. I'm going to get away from you. You got to go do your homework. Oh, did you do your homework? I already did my homework. Oh, yeah? I don't know. Little. Can you remember when you started? No. Little. <laughs> <laughs> so she's been here her whole entire career. Yeah. And uh, basically, uh, she's, uh, I got pictures of her cleaning these cabinets when she, I mean, he's making <laughs> sales, making sales, cleaning stuff ever since she was a child. So this is a big, big, big plus, man. A born entrepreneur. Yeah, Absolutely. that our work didn't go in vain. You know what I mean? I prayed about you a lot of nights. So God mm -hmm. is good, man. All the time. And, and even with um, applying for colleges, like he said, it was very, it's very stressful. I saw firsthand of how stressful this is. And especially when you're trying to get a scholarship as well, because I was one of those, I got a scholarship just for basketball though, mm -hmm. when I was in college. And I would always put it into her, I was like, okay, get a scholarship, get a scholarship. And I would always ask, so when are they replying? And she was saying, cause she get notices that she's been accepted but I'm like, okay, that's good, but when is this part right, coming? Right, right. So that part was always the stressful part for mm -hmm. both her and I. Not him, he didn't care, but I was always- By faith, I feel like God's gonna provide. I don't do no stressing. I, if you stress, you start to worship it. So you gotta be careful when you do that. So we know already that, look what happened today. Yeah. God always shows up and shows oh. out. So oh. I don't even play with that. So mm -hmm. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to let my faith waver. But I do always remind her, I said, did you pray about it? Yes, Let's pray about it. We do, we do do that. Yeah. Okay. And so uh, 
let me just say this to her uh, while I got on the panel because it's hard to get on here. I'm going to pay you your money. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say for what. <laughs> but, and, and at any rate, I'm also going to say uh, we proud of you. You know, Very. Uh, you basically from Very. 95 to 100. Dad, I already done my homework, you know, stuff like that. I got films in this store sitting in here when none of this was here where we was talking about you and you doing your grades. I sent stuff. you one last night. Did so you see that? So 95 to okay. 100. 95 to 100, what I always stress to it, got to be 95 to, to 100 on, on, on all the grades. And, and that's been a thing that we've been pushing all her life. And actually. we never had to be um, on her. Mm -hmm. She's very self-motivated. Yeah. She always gets her work done. Um, if something isn't done, she's like, Mom, I know I already, I already got this. I'm going to do it then. You know, that's the deadline. I'm good. She schedules everything the way she's supposed to. So she's very self-motivated. I don't have to worry about anything with her. UT Austin, man, that's, that's big, man. Um, you guys, man, thank you guys for coming out here today, man. Thank you guys for, uh, you know, uh, showing respect and love and to, to, mm -hmm. to our daughter, man. You know what sure. I'm saying? Sure. We, we proud of her and we, we, we glad to have y'all on, on, on the team now. Huh? I got a question. So we're going to be putting our daughter in y'all's hands. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh oh. Oh. Okay. So oh. what is it that we need to know or how can we be reassured as parents that, you know, this is the right decision? So <clears throat> with UT, we do understand it is a, um, it's like a family going to school. Mm -hmm. We understand it. And uh, the community at UT is very um, family-oriented. You know, we have faculty and staff that support our students, um, it, whether it's in, through an organization, research, um, finding internships for our kids. Our staff are fully involved. Um, and as far as representation, we have students from over 120 countries. So you're going to have a huge community at UT backing you up every step of the way. Wow. Awesome. Not only that, her studio art, her going into studio art, uh, the College of Fine Arts has what's called the Texas Career Engagement Center. That allows students to find, it's basically the career services department. But since we have 13 schools, it'd be wrong for us to just have one. So fine arts has their own, business has their own. We already have partnerships. We already create the networks. So finding something for her to do after she graduates is just a mirror walking and asking for help. Wow. Awesome. Man, I tell you, man, I just appreciate you guys, man. Again, I'm going to wrap this thing up, mm -hmm. man. I know you guys are going to continue to bless people. Y'all won't be uh, hit no other place that's going to rock out like we just <laughs> rocked out with y'all. <laughs> this is Boss Talk 101, where and we basically, where the bosses talk. And if y'all so. want to carry somebody else on the show to surprise them in a different way, just let us know. That's right, especially if they, if they somebody that y'all, like, man, we would like to. It's this, well this deserving. Because yeah. yeah. it, it gets a lot of people to understand what you guys are dealing with as well. So, man, just thank you guys on a whole nother thank level, you. man. Thank so, you. man, hey, man, guess what, man? It's been another great segment. Of Boss Talk Probably 101. Probably the best segment I've ever done. <laughs> I'm going to go and say number one. It is number one. <laughs> boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to our channel. And follow us on all social media platforms. Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, you name it. We're on it. And we out. Hey. Yo, 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 man. Hey, check yeah, it. Yeah. Hey. This man, this is a little different. This is for yeah, my daughter. So yeah, I'm, I'm over here. Miami. Boss Talk 101. I'm setting up. We about to have a good time. time. I don't know what the heck it's about, but I'm here to do my thing. I don't know about these other people because they, they're a little different. They ain't used to I'm used to this. I love the camera. I love the stunt. Holla at your boy. It's a unique hustle.